pops back up. It, it when, it, when it zooms back in, it'll pop back up. So maybe there's something like. I don't want it to clip though, because it's clipping right now. Like that. And then maybe it'll go back to its default orientation. All right, then I'll override that keyframe. There we go. So now, got that L that goes down a little bit. Oh yeah. Everything's looking fluid. And maybe when the L goes down, the T can go up. That might be kind of cool, right? Maybe. So we'll select that that T. And then when that L goes down, the T can go up. So right here, and then we'll move it up right then. And then up some more right there rotate it a little bit and then by this time getting ready to go back down and now we are going down right there so G and then we'll rotate it a little bit more and then we'll give it its initial place back alright so now oh yeah oh yeah 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 all right, that looks super cool. Super cool animation we got for that right there. So let's play it one more time. And I think we are going to be done. Uh, and if we're not done, then I'm going to end it anyway. We can do this all day. You can just you tell what you can do. You can just go ahead and add in some cool stuff wherever you think it fits. But don't overdo it. Do not overdo it because it's very easy to do. As you can see, I can do this all day. Um, and we can just add all these flying elements and all this crazy stuff. I think mainly just focus on animating the letters or the words of whatever you have, and it will be totally, uh, it'll be totally fine. So let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, one more time. Um, and I think what we're gonna do is, is that actually? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, and the L and the spin and the colors changing, which is super cool. The yeah, end spinning around, very cool, very fluid, very nice. We're going to go ahead and do some more stuff real quick with the post-processing type stuff. So we'll turn the render viewport shading back on. Ooh, the lighting. I forgot about the gorgeous gradient. Um, that Y looks like it's off-center still from when I messed with it. And I think it just might be. Let me grab this key frame right here and we'll just move that back I don't think that it is I think it just looks weird like wasn't it more like that before I think that it was well I don't know because it keeps going back to that default orientation I don't know I think it was uh, just that way so I, I guess we'll leave it we'll leave it just like that um, yeah all right sweet so that's fine the way that it is now I'm gonna go ahead and do some post processing like I said so we'll just pick a nice screenshot to play off of that's pretty nice right there we'll turn bloom on we'll turn ambient occlusion back on and screen space reflections as well get those nice reflections up in there uh, and we will also go ahead and do some stuff with volumetric in a second perhaps we might not uh, I don't know we'll see we'll have to see so for bloom I'll turn the threshold down I'll turn the radius down a little bit and the intensity, I will turn up a little bit, and that looks good. We can use the we can use a little bit of clamp, but it's not going to make much of a difference in the scene. We'll put it on a hundred. Uh, turn the threshold down a little bit. All right, so that's uh, with and without bloom. We got a little nice stuff there. I'm also going to turn the particles back on. So let me go ahead and do that now. Let's go to the particle and go back to the particle system. And oh no 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 no, plane not particle. Uh, right there. Unhide it. Hit Control, hit Alt H to reappear it in the scene, and now we can go ahead and play. And the particles aren't showing up because, because why? Because you, because you, 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 you know, do it right. Because we have, oop, I know why. Because we need to. Grab that particle. It's making making sure it's still right there. It's good. It's looking good. Let me go ahead and turn that back on. Now we have a problem because our end frame. Well, we can only leave it at. We only need it to be at the, the 250, really, to be honest with you. So we'll go ahead and just turn that down. Oh, that's why because <laughs> we still have that off right there. All right, sweet. Okay, there we go. Uh, I was warning. What's going on? Uh, there we go. Uh, perfect. Now we have the uh, the text looking good. Let me go that nice screenshot back, which that's fine. We we'll just leave it on that. Uh, so we got a nice uh, little atmosphere for the entire scene to play out in. 
There we go. All right, so uh, the particle got deleted there by accident. That was weird. That was super strange. All right, so now we have the particles. We have all of the effects in the scene. I want to pick a nice a place to create a screenshot. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, we don't need volumetric open for this. Uh, we can go ahead and just... Is that bloom? What's making that too much? It is kind of bright, don't you think? So let's go ahead and turn the in intensity down just a little bit, just so it's a little bit of bloom on there. Nothing too crazy, just so it smooths it out a little bit. Uh, it looks good. All right, so now what we need to do is I'm going to render a shot of this. Go ahead and render a simple shot of it. So we have one in the bucket. There we go. Looks good. Looks really good. I love it. Looks awesome. I'm going to go ahead and close that on out. I'm going to go ahead and go to the, uh, not the compositing. We need to go to uh, rendering. Uh, it's fine, I guess. We'll use, uh, we'll use the rendering tab. Not really a super great uh, default for this unless, you know, we have something else actually. Eh. Sure, we'll use compositing. Why not? Compositing is uh, is fine. I'll just get rid of the dope sheet because we don't need it. We just make a full screen. Why not? All right, so we're going to use uh, hit use nodes, and we're also going to go ahead and hook up a viewer node so we can see what's going on. We haven't done this in a long time on the channel, in a video anyway. So we're going to hit uh, shift A, add in a search viewer node, and, and plug that up. We're going to change that from the compositor to the viewer. We can hit uh, V to zoom out, and I think it's shift V, no control V. Nope, it's Alt V. Yep, it's Alt V. So we can hit V to zoom out and Alt V to, to zoom in. By the way, if you did not know, now you know. Uh, we're going to go ahead and before we render this for the last time, you have to make sure you hook the composite node back up or else it will render black. Now I'm going to repeat that. You have to make sure that the composite node is hooked up and not the viewer node. So to make sure that's is, and that is in the image before you render it or else it will look a solid black because it is not being composite. It's just being viewed. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and do a couple of, do a couple of things here. Uh, we're going to shift a, and we're going to add in a, ooh, uh, a, a yeah, we're going to add an ellipse, uh, mask. It's been a while since I've done Lomo like this, to be honest with you. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and hit shift a, and we're going to also add in a math node. Yes, I'm remembering. And we're going to plug the mask into the, uh, the ellipse into the mask. And actually what we're going to do uh, first is we're going to actually duplicate. The, we have to duplicate the render layers. So we're going to duplicate that render layer, hook the mask into the mask, uh, hit, hook the image into the mask. And then we're going to actually mix this instead of doing like that. So we're going to hit, uh, actually, no, multiply. We have to put this on multiply first. And then we'll just uh, hook this up. Instead of doing that, we'll hit search, add in a mix node, and we'll put that mix node right there. And we will unhook that and put the multiply right there in the bottom of the mix image and then hook the uh, ellipse mask up underneath of that. So we have something that looks like uh, this, which looks pretty uh, cool. So far, we're going to turn this from mix to multiply. Now we got something like this. I want to go ahead and actually we can leave this on. Actually, do we even need this at all? I don't think we do. I think we just hook it up like that, maybe. Uh, actually, let's do this instead. We'll hook that up right there, and we'll change this from add to, I can't remember which one it was. It wasn't subtract. Uh, it might have been subtract. I think it was subtract. Yeah, we'll leave it on subtract for the time being, and then we will actually change so these settings around here. Let me put this over here. Uh, the ellipse mask, we have to change the width of it so that it's not all the way like this. So somewhere around 9, I think it was. Yeah, 9. It's been a, it's been years since I've done um, uh, Lomo this way, by the way, um, because I always used to use easy effects and I don't have that in 2.8 right now, so I'm not doing that. Um, but there we go. So we're going to move these over and then we're going to hit Shift A, going to add in a filter, uh, actually, no, I'm sorry, uh, blur. We're going to add in a blur and then grab that and put that right there. We're going to change this from Gaussian to Fast Gaussian and uh, click Relative and change the percent uh, up to 50 and 50 yeah yeah all right so then i want to actually go ahead and change the uh x and y on this actually no not the x and y i'm sorry